Forget about the alien races, the space stations, and extrasolar planets, the galaxy-spanning plot lines, and interstellar travel. When you really get down to it, Mass Effect is about the characters. The people you meet, their rich backstories and histories, their dynamics with each other, the friendships or enmities that you form with them, their growths, and their struggles. Throughout the course of its life, Mass Effect, the original trilogy especially, has given us some truly excellent squad mates to head out onto missions with, and here, we're going to rank the ones that we feel are the best of the best. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number 10. Jack Sure, Jack can be a bit too edgy at times, often to the point of unintended hilarity, but the core of the character is hard not to sympathize with. Behind her steely bravado and her foul-mouthed temperament is a person who's just struggling to come to terms with the hard life that she's had to live, from her tough childhood to experimentations done on her by Cerberus, all of which only scratches the surface. Jack also brings some tasty tension and drama into the proceedings, especially in terms of how she interacts with the other squad mates, which means whether or not you like her, she at least makes a lasting impression. Number 9. Miranda Lawson In so many ways, the mirror image of Jack, just with totally different methods of dealing with her problems. Miranda grew up with the harsh knowledge that she was little more than a science experiment, that the most valuable thing about her in the eyes of the people who brought her into this world was her biotic abilities, and more than anything else, what that drove her toward was becoming extremely protective of her sister, in order to ensure that she didn't have to live the same tough life that she herself had to endure. Emotionally distant at first and fiercely loyal by the end, Miranda was a fascinating character from the moment she came on screen to the moment the trilogy signed off. Number 8. Grunt Where most Mass Effect squadmates are all about struggling with personal demons and saving entire alien races and talking about the morality of intergalactic politics and wars and what have you, Grunt is a man of action. Bred in a tank for the sole purpose of going Hulk smash at a moment's notice, Grunt is in many ways a model Krogan. What makes him so fun to simply hang out with is that he's not a one-dimensional character either. Sure, he gets to the point, and sure, he says what he feels, but there's growth in his character arc, and watching him familiarize himself and then assimilate with Krogan culture is one of Mass Effect 2's most fascinating parts. Number 7. Legion Letting us travel with and befriend a Geth is one of the most ingenious things Mass Effect 2 does. After spending an entire game fighting against the AI species and thinking of them as the antagonists in the first game, here comes Mass Effect 2, throwing Legion into your life and demanding that you reconsider everything. You learn so much about the Geth, about their lives, about their perspective of their conflict with the Quarians, about the way the entire race functions as a whole, about what drives them to their actions that so often seem a little extreme. Then, in Mass Effect 3, Legion's involvement makes things that much more compelling and complicated when the battle between the Quarians and the Geth come to a head. Legion is the perfect mouthpiece for that conflict, evidenced by how hard it is to side with either one of the races and feel 100% fine about it. Number 6. Tali Zora Of course, one of the original ones. Tali has been with Shepard since pretty much the beginning, a mainstay of Mass Effect. Mass Effect has incredibly deep and rich lore, and Tali serves as the storytelling device for a lot of that. The entire Quarian Geth conflict, the tragic history of the Quarians, their fascinating culture and way of life, it's all told through Tali's perspective in truly fascinating manner. Her own character arc is riddled with struggles and hurdles, and watching her come out on top of them every single time and grow as a person makes her increasingly more likable as well. And of course, you're always wondering just what she's got hiding behind that helmet, which just adds to the mystery and the allure of the Quarians as a whole. Number 5. Liara Tassoni Another one of the original gang, and probably one of the best ones. Liara's arc throughout the trilogy is one of the strongest we get to see for any character, as she goes from timid biotic researcher to a shadowy information broker who knows everything there is to know about everything. Her complicated past, her troubled family, her own conflicting personality traits all come together to make for a character with oodles of complexity and storytelling potential, and the Mass Effect trilogy leverages that constantly to make her the centerpiece of some of the best stories it tells. Number 4. Erdnot Rex The biggest and baddest of all big badasses in Mass Effect. Erdnot Rex is a complicated character that you meet pretty early on in the trilogy, and from beginning to end, he keeps surprising you. 
You look at him, his bulky form, his standing in the war-torn culture of the Krogans, and you immediately jump to conclusions about what he's like. But then he talks about the complexities of the warmongering of the Krogans, about how they're dealing with the genophage, about how to set it all right, and you realize he has way more depth as a person than you gave him credit for. Rex is an incredible character who is a joy to be around, and his death in Mass Effect 1, if he does die of course, is completely heart-wrenching. Number 3. Thane Krios An extremely skilled assassin who can kill people in a blink of an eye, but each person he kills weighs heavy on his soul. Thane is a bundle of fascinating contradictions, his spiritual and professional sides constantly at war with each other, and it's incredible to see him balancing those two sides constantly as he moves from target to target while also talking about the value of all life. He's also a man living on the edge of death, combating a deadly disease that's sure to kill him sooner or later, and that just adds to his complexity even further. And on a more superficial level, it's just incredibly cool to see him in action with his mixture of biotic abilities, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and up-close firearms. Whether you're locked in a philosophical conversation with him or learning about his struggles or watching him fight, Thane is a character who constantly brings you joy. Number 2. Morden Solus Morden might look funny and he might talk funny, and he might even at times be funny on purpose, and all of that surely makes him more endearing but there's a lot more to him than that. He's great at what he does, from being a scientific genius to a formidable soldier in combat. Most importantly though, his pleasant and charming persona is also hiding depth and darkness, and learning about his involvement in the mass genocide of the Krogans, and about how he's struggling to deal with that, about his determination to set things right, and of course his subsequent death in Mass Effect 3, if he does die that is, depending on your choices, makes for a truly fascinating character arc from beginning to end. Number 1. Garrus Vakarian You saw this one coming, didn't you? Of course you did. It's impossible to do a ranking of Mass Effect characters and not put him at the very top of the pile. And that's not just because he's the popular choice. I mean, he is the popular choice, but that's because it's impossible not to love everything about him. Garrus and Shepard form a pretty solid bond early on, which serves as the foundation for one of the best friendships in the entire series. On top of that, Garrus' own character is compelling from start to finish. His personal trajectory, from Citadel Cop to badass vigilante assassin to even more badass Turian soldier. His well-natured quips and dry remarks and love for calibrations, and of course, the fact that he just looks cool as heck. Garrus is easily the best Mass Effect character to date, and we don't see anybody dethroning him anytime soon. So, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.